a program in your hand. We will do the call to worship responsively. All right. Everyone's got a program. Amen. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. We haven't gotten. We're getting ready to get started now. The call to worship. O God the Father, creator of heaven and earth, have mercy upon us. O God the Son, redeemer of the world, have mercy upon us. O God the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, have mercy upon us. Together, loving God, whose glory it is always to have mercy, be gracious to us who have gone astray from our ways, and bring us again with penitent hearts and steadfast faith to embrace and hold fast the unchangeable truth of your word, Christ, Jesus Christ, our Son, your Son. Amen. Let us now have our invocation by Reverend Blizzard. You may be seated. The invocation is in our bulletins. Almighty and merciful God, you hate nothing that you have made and forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create in us new and contrite hearts so that when we turn to you and confess our sins, we may receive your full and perfect forgiveness through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Amen. We should now blend our voices together as we sing an old familiar hymn of our church, hymn number 504, Blessed Assurance. Amen. And it's on the back of your program. Let us stand, let us sing together. Bless Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of his spirit. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight. Visions of rapture now burst on my side. Angels descending, bring from above. Echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, all is at rest. I in my Savior am happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, looking above, filled with his goodness, lost in his love. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Let us remain standing as Reverend uh, Blizzard will come now with the litany of penitence. <clears throat>
Have mercy upon us, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercy. Blot out my transgressions, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sins. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight. Create in me a clean heart, O Lord, and renew a right spirit within me. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then I will teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Our scripture lesson this evening is written in your bulletins. If you would turn with me to Joel, the second chapter, beginning at the 12th verse. Yet even now, declares the Lord, return to me with all your heart with fasting and weeping and with mourning, and rend your heart and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. And he relents over disaster, who knows whether he will not turn and relent and leave a blessing behind him. Grain offering and drink offering for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, consecrate a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, consecrate the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children, even nursing infants. Let the bridegroom leave his room and the bride her chamber. Between the vestibule and the altar, let the priest and the ministers of the Lord weep and say, spare your people, O Lord, and make not your heritage a reproach a byword among the nations. Why should they say among the people, where is their God? The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. My dearly beloved, we thank God for the time that the Lord has given unto us. It would only be my desire that every member would have been present. Well. It is my desire. But then now sometimes our desire is not fulfilled by those who think differently. Today, Ash Wednesday, and if it is to be understood, it's a day of penitence. Yes, yes. It's a day when we acknowledge the fact that we have all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Yes. It is a day that we recognize that we have fell short and we need to repent of our sins. Yes. Yes, Lord. So we'll put on the ashes. And as those that have also put on the sackcloth. But today, we thank God 
for each that are in the house yes, as well as those that are out on the media platform. Yes. So now it's time to pray. Yes, I ask that you will now bow your heads with me oh, yes. in a word of prayer yes, Lord. as we go forward in the name of Jesus. Dear gracious Father, you told us, O oh Father God, in the book of Joel, yes, yes. your prophet of old, O oh God, to call the congregation together, Lord, oh, yes. to bow and to kneel humbly before an almighty God. Lord, with hearts of thanksgiving, Lord, lips of praise. For Father God, you have blessed us far beyond measures, O oh God. That even on a night such as this, that Lord, we come humbly before the throne of grace. To say, Lord, thank you, God. For Father God, you have been a wonderful father. Yes, Lord, we have sinned and fall short of your glory, God. But we thank you, God, that you gave us the Lord Jesus Christ. And if, Lord, we just call upon his name, yes, yes, Lord. that we shall be saved, O oh Lord. Yes. If only, Lord, we'll believe in our heart and confess with our lips that he is the Son of God and that you raise him from the dead, that, Lord, we shall be saved, yes, O oh God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord. Lord, we come tonight with a repenting heart, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, praying to an almighty God, oh Lord, that has been right there, God. For Lord, you have never lied. You said, oh God, that you'll be with us, oh God, even to the end of the earth. So Lord, we want to say thank you, God. Hold us up right now, God. Lord, where we have failed, God, Lord, be with us. We need you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lord, bless our church, oh God. Bless every member of the church. 236 that is on the road. Lord, I'm asking God that, Lord, you will bless them from the elders down to the very least, oh God. Oh, Lord, have mercy upon us. Forgive us, Lord, of all our wrongdoings, our, oh God, our sins, our transgressions, oh God, for every thought, every word, and every deed, oh Lord. God, we ask, oh God, that you will forgive us, Lord. We leave them right here at the altar tonight, God, and we offer our hearts, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy, Lord. But God is not just us, oh Lord. It's not just the Evans Metropolitan Church, oh God. But Lord, Father God, church is everywhere. Lord, I have seen some, oh God, that imposed the ash, oh God, on earlier today. Uh, that some are doing it right now, God. But Lord, wherever they are, oh God, let us have a mind, oh God, to say thank you, Lord, to worship you, God, in the, oh God, the beauty of holiness, oh God, just to give you that high praise, oh Lord, for you are worthy of our praise. God, we shall hallelujah tonight. Lord, we shall glory tonight. For you are the almighty God. And besides you, Lord, there is no other. There is no other God. Lord, some are sick, oh God. Some are shut in. Some, oh God, are suffering in one way or the other. Tonight, we ask, oh Lord, that you will look upon them. Touch them right now, God. For Lord, all they need is one touch. There is only one touch we need, oh God. And that is your touch, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. And I believe with all my heart that it will be well. With the mind, the soul, and the body. Lord God Almighty, 
Bless the service tonight, O God. Lord, for, O God, your woman servant that will stand tonight to declare your word. We ask, Lord, that you will bless her, O God. Bless her in a mighty way, O God. In the name of Jesus. O Lord, let it be all of her, all of you, and none of her. In the wonderful and mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen and amen. To God be the glory, oh. yes. to God be the glory, Thank you. hallelujah. Thank you. I'm going to call on Sister Jerita, our wonderful musician, hallelujah. However the Lord bless us, yes. we'll be satisfied. Amen. Amen. Think on the Lord, my beloved, think on the Lord. Yes.
you say anything you want me to do give me a clean heart and now follow thee yes lord yes lord hallelujah hallelujah yes, Come on, let's give God a praise. Let's stand to our feet and let's give our true praise to the Almighty God for He's been right there. Hallelujah. Every step of the way. Hallelujah. If He have done something for you, if He touched you this morning, hallelujah. If you've been walking through the valley and now He has brought you out, you ought to give Him a hallelujah praise for He is... Yes, yes, Lord. The Almighty God. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Yes, Lord. You know, when I look back over my life and realize what the Lord has done for me, I can't sit on the Lord. I cannot sit on the Lord. I cannot be quiet for the Lord. I'm going to give him all the praise that he deserves. For he's deserving of our praise. To God be the glory. Thank you, Lord. 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 Yes, Lord. Church, I should not be here. Thank you. I should not be here. Even from birth, the devil tried to take my life. Lord Jesus. When man, doctors have given up on me, that's what my mom told me. The only thing she thought about doing was praying to the Almighty God. When the doctor sent her back home and says, ma'am, you're just waiting on time when your son will die. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And here I am. Here I am. <laughs> 70 plus years ago, here I am. I've got reason to give God praise. Do you have a, a reason to give God praise? Do you have a reason to lift up holy hand and say, God, I thank you for you being right there? Yes, Lord. Thank you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, and that's just only a part of my story. And all of you are, all of you are, have a story. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell that story. You, for Lord. surely it will save Thank you, the souls of yes, men you, and women through the blood of the Lord Jesus good. Christ. God is good. Yes, he is. Yes, Lord is good. Mm. Tonight, yes. today, we enter the season of Lent. The purple is indicative of the Lenten season. It really, in essence, exemplifies the suffering of Jesus Christ. Y'all like them fancy lights? Thank God. But it exemplifies the sacrifice that Christ made for us being in the wilderness for 40 days 40 nights 
So, amen, the sacrifice that we will make as a church over the next 40 days till Easter will sacrifice our hearts, our minds, and our souls. So, I've asked this very wonderful young lady in the person of prophetess Dr. Deborah L. Brown, should be two L's, LL. She said it may means long living Brown. All right. All right. She have come to us, she have joined with us. And I pray God that as she will matriculate through the course, amen, that one day we'll claim her, amen, as an ordained minister in the Amy Zion Church. For the Lord, amen, has given direction. Amen. Hallelujah. She's here with her boo. Y'all know him, Brother Charles. Come on, give it to him. He's here. He escorts her as much as she directs him. But tonight, we're going to hear from this, this prophetess, Dr. Brown as she will come now to share with you concerning fasting. Bless the Lord, all oh my soul and all that is within me, bless his holy name. I give honor to the Lord, our God, first in my life, for real. Yes. I give honor to our pastor. I give honor to Reverend Blizzard. Bless you. I give honor to my husband. I give honor to the First Lady. Amen. I give honor to the leaders of this house and I give honor to every member in this house and I thank God for standing before you all on tonight Amen. and I'm here my mission is to talk to you about fasting fasting through this season this is a, a season of repentance for us as some of you know that I just came out of a 40-day fast and getting ready to go into another 40-day fast. Well, God knows what we need, so I'm excited about it. But I want to share with you what happened to me in the last 40-day fast. I could not um, be in it as much as I wanted to and be a part of everything because of my obligations of the Healing Corner Ministries, uh, because I'm, I'm online um, and doing um, a lesson, a teaching, a preaching, twice a week, every week. And it's 6.30 a.m. in the morning. And because uh, the New Covenant Association of Ministries that I'm affiliated with and ordained under is in Arizona. So that's two hours behind us right now. So I could not do a lot of things that I want to do, but I want to tell you what happened. I determined this year when we were going into the 40 day fast, I had an expectation of God. And I wanted God to change me, change the way I think, change the way I look at him, change the way I approach him, change what I do for him, at least the way I do what I do for him. And I want to share with you that he did, he has given us a charge. We have a charge. And I thank God for the charge because the charge that he gave us is so in line with what God told us on New Year's Eve night. It's a charge of evangelism. So I thank God for the charge. And I'm not going to go into it because I have a few minutes to be up here before you. But what God did say, say to me 
is what came out of it is that I needed to recommit myself to him. All right. And he had already given me throughout, because I had to go on and be the intercessory prayer twice during that 40 days. And once I was in, um, in Jamaica as, as the intercessor during that time. And we, we, what he gave me that every single day we need to thank him, we need to repent, we need to commit to him, and we need to submit to him. And these are four things that he gave me to do every day. And I started to do it every single day when he gave it to me. But I want you all to know this. Tuesday morning, I renewed my vows to our Lord, our Savior, our God. Mm -hmm. In the same way that one might renew their vows to their spouse. Mm -hmm. I renewed my vows to him to make him a, the true first love in my life. And he is the first love in my life. Mm -hmm. That's what came out of it. And I gave him another yes. Mm -hmm. A yes like I've never given him before. Mm -hmm. So I stand before you tonight to talk to you about fasting and how necessary fasting is in our lives. Mm -hmm. See, we don't fast for God. We fast for us. Mm -hmm. When we take things out of our life, see, fasting has made to be a negative thing, and fasting is to be positive. Yes. Food is not the only thing that we take out. Okay. I took out television. All right. So I can't tell you when the last time is I watched television, but my husband can testify. I have not been watching television. So I believe I went the whole 40 days. No, I turned on one day, and when I saw what I saw, I turned it right back off. I said, now I see why. Television is one of the things that I need to fast from. Mm. This time I'm going to add my phone. I won't be on it as much. I'm going to add the cell phone. Okay, so I know I need to send out some notices to people. You won't be hearing from me. Don't get angry, don't be offended, don't think that I'm washing you off, I'm not. But I need to solely be committed to God. Mm. So I'm going to talk to you tonight about the Daniel fast, because that's what we are introducing and believing will be very beneficial for us at Evans Metropolitan AME Zion Church mm -hmm. and to anyone else who is willing to take up that mantle and go with us in the Daniel fast for the next 40 days. Amen. Amen. And we got days in there. We have 14 days left in this month and we can go all the way up to Good Friday with 40 days of fasting Amen. and change in the same way. When Jesus came up out of that water, mm. the Holy Spirit took him up into the wilderness and he was up there for 40 days and 40 nights mm. and he was not eating. And we can go through a 40 day fast, but we will be eating, but we will do it the way Daniel did it. You all know the story. I'm not going to read it because I don't want to keep you all here a long time. But I want to say this. When, the, when the, the children of Israel were taken captive, Nebuchadnezzar told his eunuchs that were looking after the guys, the, 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 the slaves that they brought in there to, to pick some young men who were handsome, who were smart, who came from nobility, who came from royal families. I want you to pick these young men, bring them in, teach them the ways, our ways. Teach them our ways, but while you're teaching them, because I want you to train them to be able to work into the pal in the palace after you teach them, and guess how many, how long they were going to be teaching them? Three years. You are going to train, tra you're going to teach them the ways of our kingdom. 
and we want them to look good and we want them to eat good. So we want them to eat the food that comes from the king's table. Let's talk about that food. That was a lot of meat, a lot of fat meat, okay? A lot of desserts and a lot of wine. And that's what Nebuchadnezzar wanted these boys to be eating. They were teenagers because they wanted them to grow up to become young men that would work there. But he also wanted them to pick the people who were smart. He wanted them to pick the people who were quick to learn. He wanted them to pick people who were witty, who were wise, who, who were classy, who knew how to carry themselves, who could easily adjust to someone else's ways. So they picked them, and they picked four men, and you all know Daniel, and you know they changed their names because before then, these boys' names were Han Daniel, Hananiah, Michelle and Azariah. But they changed Daniel's name to Belshazzar. They changed Hananiah's name to Shadrach. They changed Michelle's name to Meshach. And they changed Azariah's name to Abednego. And they wanted them to eat this food, but Daniel said, I cannot let that food, uh, I cannot eat that food because it would cause me to defile myself. He was used to living a clean life. So he said, I'm not gonna defile myself. But of course, the person that was, the official that was in charge of them said, but I can't have you looking worse than anybody else is looking because the king would take my head off. He'll kill me. So I, I have to make sure that you're eating good. I can't have you looking worse than everybody else. So Daniel says, do this. Just test us for 10 days. Test us for 10 days. And everyone know these numbers mean something. 3, 10, completion, maturity. So he said, just give us vegetables to eat and water to drink. Well, in 10 days, he tested him, tested them, and he discovered that they looked, they used the word fair in the King James Version, but what they were saying is that these boys looked more healthy, and they looked better, and they, they, looked, they looked better and they looked healthier than the other men the other boys, after those 10 days, because they ate vegetables and they ate drunk water. But in them eating the vegetables and drinking the water, they were not putting all of that meat in their body. They weren't putting all that dessert in their body. And you all know I like ice cream and cake and pie and cookies and candy, and I like it all. Mm. But I know that when I don't put those things in my body, I'm not as sluggish. Okay, I sleep better at night. Well. I wake up easier in the mornings. And I don't get sleepy at a certain time in the day, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock. I'm not sleepy because I'm putting healthy and whole things in my body. What are the healthy and whole things that I'm putting in my body? I'm putting fruits and vegetables in my body. And I do as many fresh vegetables as possible, but if I'm not getting them fresh, then that means we can have uh, canned vegetables, we can have frozen vegetables. These are things that we can have. And we can have canned fruit, box fruit. What's a box fruit? Raisin is a box fruit. Okay, we can have canned fruits. We can have boxed fruits. We can have frozen fruit, fruits. We can have fresh fruits. And the same with vegetable. Well, someone may say, well, I'm taking medicine. I'm taking medicine. So I got to eat. Well, if you feel that you got to eat, we will never say don't eat. But this is what I will say. If you have to have protein, you can have eggs. 
If you have to have protein, you can have fish food. But I'm not saying shrimp. I'm not saying lobster. I'm not saying crabs. No shellfish. But any fish that comes with the bone in it. That's also tuna. That's also salmon. So I can eat those things, and I do eat those things. You say, well, I like my salmon and croquettes. Then fry them. Go ahead, fry you up some croquettes. But you're still eating salmon. You're still eating a better uh, source of protein for yourself. Some people say, well, I got to have something when I take my medication in the morning. Well, have you some grits and eggs? All right. That'll be all right. And if you just got to have you some bread, go ahead, have you some toast. And if you just have to have something else, have you a biscuit. Okay? <laughs> but hear what I'm saying. I'm saying we can do these healthy foods during these 40 days. Yes. And we will find ourselves smarter. We will find ourselves healthier. And some of us will find ourselves leaner. Okay, and I'm saying don't drink, and I'm going to put all of the, everything that I'm saying I got written, and I'm going to put it where we can read it in our email. Okay, so you'll be able to see everything I'm saying, and what we're asking you to do is to fast between 7 o'clock in the morning until 1 o'clock in the afternoon. That will encompass three prayer periods. And guess what we're going to do? I haven't put a prayer team together, but we're going to have a prayer team, and the prayer team is going to be praying for every single one of us. And if one of you get in touch with me and you say, well, you know, Dr. Brown, Prophet Brown, Sister Brown, I don't know if I can do this. I'm going to be praying for you especially more. Amen. Amen. Because we can do this, my sisters and brothers. And we will go through this 40-day fast. And I'm saying to everybody, ask God, what does he want you to do in these 40 days? In these 40 days? Talk to God about what you want from God. God, I'm repenting. And this is one of the ways that I'm going to sacrifice. Jesus, you went up into the wilderness and you sacrificed food before you came down and your ministry was launched on this earth. People didn't know much about you before you went up into those mountains. But when you came down out of those mountains after you were tested during them 40 days and 40 nights, you came down and you brought the word and you went out over the earth everywhere that the yes, father sir. had you to go yes, you didn't say nothing but what the father told you to say and you determined within yourself even though you knew what you had to go through yes. that you were gonna die for me yes. Yes. that I was worthy of you dying for me so God, I am worthy yes, yes. of going through 40 days yes, sir. of eating more healthy uh -huh. for you. Because yeah. then I will be able to do better as a servant of the Most High God. Yes. I will take the junk out of me mm. and put the good in me physically yes. and grow spiritually yes. while I'm doing it. Because that's what we want. Yeah. We want to be better servants. Yeah. We want to do better. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I am better. Uh -huh. I grew spiritually in a way that I desired. Uh -huh. But I was so sad. Mm -hmm. Sunday, mm -hmm. when I saw that someone was here, mm -hmm. and I knew my heart needed to be broken just a little bit more. Yeah. Lord, I saw someone here that was not a part of us, a part of Evans yet. And my heart did not go out to him the way it should have gone out. Well, well. And when I saw the tears coming down his face, mm. 
And I saw the glory of the Lord upon that man as our pastor was talking to him. I said, God, this is what it's about. Hallelujah. And I'm so ashamed that I did not have my heart go out to him. So I need to be broken some more. I need to repent some more. I need to be able to see people better than I saw. I need to be able to pray for them when I see them. And I see that they are needing someone to just love on them. Well. All that man wanted was to feel love. Mm. The outburst was only because he wanted to feel love. Yeah. I said, God, I did not even give him the love. And I was standing up there. I could have prayed for him. Mm. And I didn't. Mm. So I need to repent. I repented when I got, I started repenting before I got in the car. Mm. But I repented all the way. Because I saw the tears. And I said, we need to do better. But me, I didn't talk about everybody else. I just talked about me. And when I got home, I told my husband, I said, I'm so ashamed. Because I got to be broken some more. So I'm willing to sacrifice my sisters and brothers. So I can be broken to do the work of the ministry. Better than I did that day. Better. So I'm willing mm. to give up the cake. As a matter of fact, my husband will tell you, I, I folded up cake and put it in the freezer today. Because mm. we're not going to eat it. Mm. We're not going to be eating it. Mm. And, and I got some more stuff I got to put away. Mm. But we're going to do this, Daniel, fast. Mm. I will provide scriptures for you every day just mm. to strengthen you to go through it. So see, when the pastor said do it, I know that that meant you got to go to work, preacher. Because mm -hmm. you got to give the people something every day mm -hmm. just to encourage them. So before many of you get up, I'm up anyway. Mm -hmm. But that means I'll be on my knees getting the word from the Lord. Because on Tuesday, I had to get down on my knees and put my hands out to get the key that God has for me. Mm. So to do that, I want to be broken just more. Amen. Broken more for the people. Mm -hmm. So this fast is for God. But it's for me to be better for the kingdom of God. Amen. We are all kingdom citizens. Amen. And because of that, we're going to do this fast. Where is it found? Go and read Daniel, first chapter, verses 1 through 20. Amen. Daniel, first chapter, mm -hmm. verses 1 through 20. Amen. And you get to read about those three Hebrew boys. Mm -hmm. yes. Shadrach, and we know about them. Yes. Yes. And Daniel. And we see what God did, will do for you. Mm -hmm. I know they telling the truth. Because mm -hmm. I went three days one time. God put me and some other, me, and had me lead some leaders through a three-day absolute fast. Mm -hmm. And when I came out of that fast, I said, now I understand what those boys were like after those mm -hmm. ten days. Amen. I was so smart. I was so in tune. Yeah. I could hear God so clearly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm expecting for all, from all of us, for all of us. Because mm -hmm. I'm going to be praying for us. Yeah. And we're going to put a team of people together and ask them if they will pray with me for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how we will pray to cover you. Because I tell you, whoever is leading, you can feel when the people start falling off. You can feel it within yourself when people start falling off and stop fasting. Mm. So see, it would be my responsibility to pray you back into it. Amen. So I want to say this while we're fasting. If you do find yourself falling off, just get right back on. Mm. Don't stop totally. Because you may find that chicken might look pretty good. And you might find yourself eating that piece of chicken. But don't let that stop because that's what the devil wants you to be defeated. That's right. 
If this is something new you're doing, it's going to be different for you. Mm -hmm. But don't stop. Mm -hmm. Don't be defeated. Mm -hmm. yes. Continue. And if you need a little help, you, you have my phone number. You can call me. All right. and, I, and, and I probably only say something like, I got you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And go on into prayer for you. Amen. But we're going to do this. We're going to do it. They did it. So we can do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to say don't look like you're fasting. Nobody has to know. People like to make announcements. That's what the Pharisees did. That's not That's what right. we're doing. We don't have to make announcements. Amen. But someone may ask you, what are you doing? You're looking different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you really want to know, I'll tell you. But it's going to cost you. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Amen. And if they're willing to pay the cost, to repent through sacrifice, mm -hmm. then you can tell them. Mm -hmm. And we just add, and they can jump on right where they are. Mm -hmm. Just get right on in it. Because one of the things that I've learned from our Lord, that wherever you start, wherever you start, you get the whole part. You remember the scripture where the man went out at different points in the day? And he hired people to come and work. Yes, yes. And remember, he said, if you come, I pay a dollar. That's what he told the people early. That Deborah Brown saying dollar. But that's what he told the people early in the morning. He went out 12 o'clock and got some. He said, I'll pay you a dollar. They agreed. Went at 3 o'clock and got some. He said, I'll pay you a dollar. They agreed. Went out at 5 o'clock and got some. He said, I'll pay you a dollar. They agreed. 7 o'clock, he brought everybody back and paid everybody their dollar. The people that came earlier say, I can't believe you just giving me a dollar. I've been here all day. He said, but that's what you agreed to. That's right. Why am I sharing that with you? If they don't come until the 37th day, they'll get everything that we are getting that's starting on day one. Amen. 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 Well, I want to thank you, God. We thank you for what you said to your people today. But know that I'm going to put this in writing and give it to you. So you'll have it. You won't have to try to remember. I'm going to send it to us. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you, everybody. Amen. Y'all can do better than that. Come on. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Amen. She said you will feel better. You'll look stronger. And you look better. Amen. And smarter. That's exactly right. We thank God. And let me tell you something real quick, okay? Now, the devil know that we were getting ready to enter into this fast. And, amen, at about, what, 3 o'clock today, maybe 4 o'clock, the doorbell rang. And a young lady was out there, and she had a box of chocolate candy. <laughs> she said, sir, I am... Uh, got a project with my school and I've got these candy bars so sir would you like to purchase one I've got different kinds and all and I looked at those candy bars and I looked at the young girl and I said Lord Jesus amen so I did buy three I have not eaten any I put two in the uh, refrigerator I don't know what happened to the other one. <laughs> but, but, but I didn't eat any, okay? Amen. But if it be God's will, Amen. after Good Friday, Amen. if my grandsons don't get to them, they'll be sitting right there. Amen. Because tonight we have learned the importance of fasting and sacrifice. Amen. 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 And as I said to you in years gone by that I've been with you, you know what your medical issues are. 
Amen? Yes. Take care of yourself. Amen. Take care of yourself. Amen? All right. Fasting, I believe, is a good thing. More than all, for what she has said, it will increase your spirituality. Hmm? Hallelujah. I don't know. One of y'all might walk in here dancing one day. But it does something for you. So please, adhere to that. But definitely take care of yourself. Yes. Y'all understand that, right? Amen. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, he'll bring us through. Amen. Forty days look like a long time from now. But amen. You'll get stronger as you go along, okay? Amen. You'll get stronger as you go along. So with that, now we just thank God. Amen. Uh, Jerita. Just give us something. For now I'm going to invite everyone to the altar. For today, amen, tonight, we'll impose the ashes. Symbolic, amen, of putting on the ash and the sackcloth. An indication to the world. You may come, come, come. Come while I'm talking. On a hill far away Stood an old rugged cross The emblem of suffering and best for okay if you're standing behind someone no 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 when the person before you have received their anointing just on the front just step back and let the one behind you come forth okay all right because we're going to try to get everyone tonight Yeah. 
that last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it some day for a crown. And exchange it some. Where are the young men? Where are the young men? Please come down. Come quickly, come quickly, come quickly. You also must be covered. You also must be covered. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last cling to the old rocket cross and exchange it someday for a crown if you desire to kneel at the altar for this prayer this will be the prayer of penitence if you desire if you cannot, do not hurt yourself. But if you're going to stand behind somebody, just touch somebody. We want the contact to be with the, uh, with the altar railing. Amen. That's right. Can you get them over there? Sister Markin, come. Or just be touching someone. Amen. To God be the glory. I'm going to go over to touch Jerita. Prophetess Brown will now come and to pray the prayer of penitence. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. I'm sorry. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to you, O Lord. We come to you on the night giving you thanks. Thank you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, for another opportunity. For one, to come into the sanctuary and to spend this time with you on Ash Wednesday. Thank you, Father God, for us recognizing that this is a time of penitence. So, Father, we come to you right now thanking you for what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ did for us. Thank you, O oh God, for the 40 days and the 40 nights that he fasted in the wilderness before lunch in his ministry, O oh God. And Father, we thank you that when he came down in the name of Jesus, he did not stop until the work was finished, O oh God. He came down to do what the Father told him to do. And that was, O oh God, to teach men, women, and children, O oh God, how to follow him, but also in the name of Jesus to give us life for us. So we repent on tonight, O oh God, in the mm. name of Jesus. We come to you with humble hearts, O oh God. Mm. We come to you, O oh God, Lord, seeking mercy, that we Father, have a clean heart, O oh God. Yes, Lord. And humble heart, O oh God. Yes, Lord. Clean hands, O oh yes, God. Yes, Lord. So that we might yes, be able Lord. to do the work of the ministry, Father, in the God. Name of Jesus. We realize that Hallelujah. we sin and glory come short of the glory of God, Hallelujah. O Lord. And we ask you, O oh God, to create Hallelujah. in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us, yes, oh God, Lord. in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. But God, hallelujah, we yes. don't think ourselves more higher than we ought because oh, we humble ourselves Glory before be you God. right now. Mm. Realizing, oh God, that we mm. are a wretch undone, Lord oh Jesus, God. Yes, yes. But we know, oh God, that as we repent 
before you. Yes. As we confess our sins, oh yes, God, Lord in the Jesus. name of Glory Jesus, be to God. you are just and righteous to forgive yes, us, oh Lord God. Jesus. And you cleanse us of all unrighteousness, Glory oh God, in the, Father, of Jesus. in the name of Jesus. So we lay down our lives before Amen. you all tonight, oh God. Yes. We give you our hearts, Hallelujah. oh God, in Glory the name of Jesus. And we pray, oh God, that you will receive our prayers, oh God. Hallelujah. Receive our repentance, oh God. Hallelujah. Receive our hearts, oh God. Hallelujah. For we know, oh God, that a broken spirit and a contrite heart you Hallelujah. will not deny. So we thank you, oh God. We come Hallelujah. before you broken Glory tonight, to God. oh God. Yes. Knowing that it is you that make us whole. Hallelujah. So we thank you for your forgiveness, thank you, oh Lord. Lord. Thank, Thank you, you for your forgiveness, Lord. Yes, Lord. And as we go through this next 40 Hallelujah. days, oh God, Glory and 40 nights, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. we present our sacrifices mm, of fasting yes, before Lord you, Lord. Father, we pray that you strengthen us through the fast, oh Hallelujah. God, in the name of Glory Jesus, as only God. you can. Yes. But as we sacrifice, oh God, yes. we choose to grow deeper in relationship yes, with you, oh God. Yes. For it is for you that we do yes, this and Lord not Jesus. ourselves. Yes. To grow closer to you, oh Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus. Let us be found favorable before you, oh God, yes, as we Lord. go through this fast, Lord. Yes, Lord. Not because we are desiring any recognition Lord from men. Yes, Lord. But God, we are desiring that you see Hallelujah. our hearts. See our hearts, Hallelujah. oh Lord. Glory be to God. That we repent before you. Yes, Lord Jesus. It is a time of penitence, oh God. Mm. So that we will draw closer to yes, you. Yes, Lord Jesus. For as we draw nigh unto you. Yes. We know that you draw nigh unto us, oh yes, Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus. So we thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you for the opportunity. Yes, Lord Jesus. Let it be your good pleasure, Lord. Mm. As we repent before you. Yes, Lord. On this night. This night. And as we embark upon the 40 days and 40 nights. Yes, Lord Jesus. Of sacrifice unto you. Yes, Lord. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Let us be found faithful. Mm. For it is our desire. Yes, dear Lord. That you be pleased in what we do. Yes, Lord. Change our hearts, our minds, our yes, souls, Lord and Jesus. our spirits for you. Yes, yes. For you only, Lord. Yes. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. So it is, and it is so. Amen. 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 Rise, my beloved. Don't return yet. Don't return. We're going to dismiss right here from the altar. Amen. Let's give our God a hand praise for the prophet. Amen. And to uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I, uh, there, there's two of them. The other one went up. <laughs> Ain't they some strong men? Give those young men a hand, y'all. Amen. We we love y'all. Amen. Amen. They're doing some great things in the church and we thank God for them. Look at the, uh, look at the, you see the screen? Look beautiful, don't it? This is the new stuff. And the lights, y'all see they can change the lights and all that and make this place look real good, okay? We're going to add some more lights, but we thank God. Look what God has done, y'all. Come on, give God a hallelujah praise. Amen. 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 All right, and we thank God for our musician. Come on, give Dorit a hand over there. Amen. And to God be the glory. We thank God for Reverend Blizzard that came to assist us tonight. And we thank God for all that we have seen, heard, and what we have done tonight, okay? So with that now, let's just lift our hand to the Lord. Now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding... Guard your hearts and your minds in the love of his very wonderful son, the Lord and our Savior, Jesus the Christ. 
Now may the blessings of God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Ghost, be with you and rest with you henceforth and forevermore. Let us all sing together. Amen. Amen. All right, we are dismissed from this man of privilege. Amen. Greet someone and tell them that you love them. God bless you and thank you for coming. Amen. That's some, that's some wax from the... Uh, God bless you.